In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the equations of tangent lines to the circle, which is defined by the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 225 with a y-intercept at minus 25. Right. So now that y-intercept is talking about the y-intercept of the tangent lines. Okay. So if we sketch the situation out, right, it should look something like this. So we see that the radius squared is equal to 225, which means that the radius is equal to 15 units. That's why the, this circle goes up by 15 units, down by 15 units, to the right by 15 units, and to the left by 15 units. Right. So what we have over here is a defined y-intercept for these two tangents. Right. We are told that these two tangent lines right, have to have a y-intercept at minus 25. Okay. So now we need to then work from there to find the equations of the tangent lines. Okay, from what I can see, the easiest approach for this uh, problem is to concentrate on these points of contact, right, between the tangent line and uh, the straight line, right. Also notice that at these points of contact, right, because we have a common y-intercept at minus 25, it should make sense, right, that these two points, right, will be on the same horizontal line. In other words, they will share the same y value. Okay? Right, so we can set up a simultaneous equation type of situation over here. Right? We know that uh, for these straight lines, right, for each of them, right, both the red one and the blue one, they're going to be defined by some equation y is equal to some gradient m times x minus 25. Right? We can take this y value right, and substitute it into the equation of the circle, right? because at that point of contact, right, those y values are going to be equal. Right? This will give us x squared plus mx minus 25 in our brackets. Right? And remember, we need to square that. This is equals to 225. Okay, so now we've set up an equation for ourselves that we need to solve. Right. Now notice that inside of our bracket we have two terms. Right. Remember that whenever you have two terms like that inside of a bracket, which is squared, right, you have to expand that bracket out. So then this will give us x squared plus m squared times x squared minus 50mx plus 25 squared. Right, and this is going to be equals to 225. Right, so then now we can go and collect like terms over here. Right, you can see that we have an x squared term. Right, we have another x squared term, and we also have constant terms. Right. Okay, so now for the x squared terms, right, what we can do for that is that we can pull out an x squared as a common factor. Right which will leave us with 1 plus m squared inside of the bracket. And then we still need to multiply that by x squared, right? And then this is minus 50mx, okay? And then into our calculator, we can just quickly evaluate what is 25 squared minus 225, and that turns out to be a value of 400. There, and all of this is now equals to 0, okay? So now what have we done so far, right? If you look at what we've created, is we've set up a quadratic equation for ourselves, right? So we have an x squared term, an x term, and a constant term, right? So essentially what we're saying is that if we can find this value of m, right, which is actually the gradient of the tangent lines, right, that value of m, if you had to substitute it in, right, and you factorize this quadratic, that quadratic would give you these x values at the point of contact on these tangent lines. Okay, So essentially what's going to happen now is that this is going to help us to find the value of m, right? And the way that we're going to use this quadratic in order to find the value of m, right, is to notice that because it's a quadratic and we have tangent lines right to this circle, right, the nature of this quadratic, which is given by the discriminant, has to be equal to zero, right? Because remember that when the discriminant is equal to zero, it means that you only have one real root, right? Or sometimes we just say that we have equal roots. Okay, and if we connect this uh, back to the quadratic that we actually um, set up, right, 
Therefore, a quadratic, what it means when the discriminant is equal to zero, is that that quadratic only has one x-intercept, making it tangential to the x-axis. Right. So now, the discriminant is given by b squared minus 4 times ac, right? And we need to set this equals to zero since the lines, right, are tangent to our circle. Okay? We can get these values of b, a, and c from our developed quadratic above, right? So we'll have minus 50m, right, all squared for b, right, minus 4 times a, which works out to be uh, 1 plus m squared. Okay, and then we need to times that by a value of c, which from above is 400. Okay, and then we set this equals to 0. Right, now we have um, minus 50m squared, which will be 50 squared times m squared. Okay, and then we'll have minus, right, 4 times 400 is 1,600. Okay, and we still need to multiply that by a bracket 1 plus m squared. This is still equal to 0. Okay, so we have 50 squared m squared, right? And now we're going to distribute this negative 1,600 into the bracket. Okay, so which will give us minus 1,600 minus 1,600 times m squared okay, is equal to 0. Right, so now you can see that we have a common factor of m squared, right? So into our calculator, we can just evaluate what is minus 1,600 plus 50 squared. Okay, and that gives us a value of 900, right? So what we have now is 900 times m squared, right? Uh, is a minus 1,600 is equal to 0. Then we can move that 1,600 right to the right-hand side. Okay. Then dividing both sides by 900, we'll have that m is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1,600 divided by 900, which simplifies to just 4 over 3. Okay. So basically now what we've just found is the gradient of these two lines, right? So if we look at the red tangent, right, and we call it g of x, right, g of x is going to take the positive gradient, right, oh, sorry, over here, I forgot, this is going to be um, plus or minus 4 over 3. Sorry about that. Okay. So the red tangent line is going to take the positive gradient, right, because you can see that it has a positive gradient, right? So it's going to be defined by g of x is equal to positive 4 over 3 times x minus 25, right? And the blue tangent line is going to be defined by, if we call it h of x, right, that's going to be defined by negative 4 over 3 times x minus 25. Okay, and there you go. We've now successfully found the equations of the tangent lines to the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 225, which have a defined y-intercept at minus 25.